Good morning, class. Today, we are working on review skills. We're on Unit 4, Lesson 5, Remembering. And so we're reviewing adding and subtracting mixed numbers. We are also reviewing multiplication of fractions and whole numbers as well as mixed numbers, and then multiplying multi-digit numbers. Before we get started here, you can go ahead and put an X to stretch your thinking. Let's go ahead and do um, in numbers one through six, we'll go ahead and start with number one and we'll do one addition problem and we'll do one subtraction problem. Number one, we have three and three fourths and we're adding to that two and one eighth. Remember anytime you're adding or subtracting fractions, you have to have a common denominator. And our denominators here, we have four and eight. And so I know four is a factor of eight and four times two is equal to eight. So anything I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. First thing I'm gonna do is move my whole number over. So I'm gonna bring my three over. And then I'm going to multiply. Three times two is equal to six for my numerator. Four times two is equal to eight for my denominator. And now I have a common denominator. I'm just gonna go ahead and move this one over, two and one eighth, and then I can go ahead and add. Six plus one, when I add my numerators together, is seven. My denominator stays the same, and that's an eight. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, and so my answer for number 1 is 5 and 7 eighths. Now we're going to look at number 2. We'll complete a subtraction problem together to review. And this one I believe we're going to have to borrow. So we have 4 and 1 fifth, and from that we're subtracting 2 and 3 tenths. Remember, anytime you add or subtract fractions, you need to get a common denominator. And I know that 5 is a factor of 10. So I know that if I multiply 5 times 2, it's going to equal 10. Anything I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. First thing I'm going to bring over is my whole number, and then I'm going to multiply. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And now I have a common denominator. So I'm just going to bring over my other number and line it up. So I have 2 and 3 tenths. And I need to subtract here. Well, when I subtract my numerators, I cannot take 3 away from 2 because 3 is larger than 2, so I'm going to have to borrow. So my 4 is going to become a 3. And in this case, taking one whole out, because my denominator is a 10, would be 10 tenths. So I have to add 10 tenths to my 2 tenths. So plus 10 tenths. So now what I have is 3. I'm going to write it down here. Now what I have is 3 and 12 tenths, and I need to subtract from that my 2 and 3 tenths. Now I can complete my subtraction. 12 minus 3 is equal to 9. My denominator of 10 stays the same. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1, and so my answer is 1 and 9 tenths. In numbers 7 through 10, the directions say find each product by first rewriting each mixed number as a fraction. And so we have to find the product, which again means multiply. So we have number 7, we have 2 ninths, and we're multiplying that by 2 and 2 thirds. Well, we have a mixed number, 2 and 2 thirds, so we need to change that mixed number to an improper fraction. We have 3 times 2 is equal to 6 and then plus the numerator, which is 2. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8, and so it's going to be 8 over 3. Our denominator stays the same. So now we have 2 ninths times 8 thirds. And you can go ahead now and multiply straight across. 2 times 8 is equal to 16, and 9 times 3 is equal to 27. And so your answer is going to be 16 over 27 ahead and complete one more of those together. Let's look at number eight. We have number eight, we have one and three fifths, and we're multiplying that by 10. Anytime we have a whole number, we need to write it as a fraction. It's just that number over one. So that's going to be 10 over one. Now we need to take our mixed number, which is one and three fifths, and we need to make it into an improper fraction. We take the denominator, we multiply it by the whole number. Five times one is five, plus 3 is equal to 8. So 8 over 5. The denominator stays the same. So we have 8 over 5 times 10 over 1. This is a case where we can cross reduce or cross simplify. 5, here is, five is a factor of 10. 5 can go into 5 one time. 5 can go into 10 two times. So now what we have is 8 times 2, which is equal to 16, over 1 times 1, which is 1. And 16 over 1 is equal to 
16. So your answer for number 8 is going to be 16. Numbers 11 through 16, it says solve and use any method, and you can do these however it is that you prefer, not with a calculator though, show me your work. So number 11, we have 64, and we're multiplying that by 87. I like to do it this way, 7 times 4 is equal to 28, put down your 8 and carry your 2. 6 times 7 is equal to 42, plus 2 is equal to 44. Now I need to put down my placeholder. 8 times 4 is equal to 32, put down your 2 and carry your 3. 6 times 8 is equal to 48, plus 3 is 51. And now I need to add, 8 plus nothing is 8. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, and 5 plus nothing is equal to 5. So your answer is going to be 5,568. Alright, you can complete the rest of this page on your own. When you have finished your work, please take a picture, attach it to your assignment, upload it in Teams, and turn it in. Thank you.